here's a question for you. Close your eyes, pretend like you're looking at yourselves in the mirror this morning. Today is 2014, and I'm going to make the year 2064, 50 years from now. Do you see yourselves running, jumping, racing around, dancing, or do you see yourself sick, having trouble breathing, any of those things? What you do with your health and well-being today will affect how you're feeling and what you're able to do 50 years hence. Yes, there are only four main words that anybody needs to know about nutrition and dietetics and health. Balance, variety, moderation, exercise. That's it. Somebody would naturally think that if I'm going into a field of nutrition and dietetics, it's about cooking, and it's not. It's about family, it's about food, it's about home. It's everything that affects an individual and that an individual can affect. We look at the growing number of seniors in our society. We look at the issue of childhood obesity. We look at sports nutrition. Within our program, you get an opportunity to look at all of these different choices. And then you say, okay, when I get into an internship program, this is where I want to go. Across the country, when a student applies to a dietetic internship, only 54% get accepted. We had in this last go around 60% of our students got in. So, however, the question we always ask our students is, what is it that's going to make you successful and put you on top when internship programs are interviewing? One is what's your GPA, especially in the science classes. The other is, have you had any experience with volunteering in a hospital, putting up diet trays, shadowing a registered dietitian within the hospital setting? Have you gotten offered a job within that once you've volunteered? And the next one, the third part of that, which is very important, is leadership. Have you demonstrated in your college career where you have been a leader? What have you done that can be demonstrated when you're applying for the internships? The way most people approach diet is through restriction and failure. If you think about it as life, it's balancing all of the different foods, variety within each food group, moderation, and exercise, and you've got it all.